Jackson? Ah, uh, yeah, this is Jack. Mr. Gibbons, this is Amanda Whitaker. Have I called at a bad time? No, not at all. Just, just cleaning up a little mess. What can I do for you? Mr. Gibbons. Call me Jack. Thank you. Jack, I was looking through the paper and saw your freelance writing ad. Uh, just what kind of writing do you do? What kind of writing do you want? Do you always answer a question with a question? Did I? Sorry, I, I, I thought that that would help break the ice. Anyway, I guess it's sort of a human interest story. No, really it's more. Jack, I wonder if it might be easier to talk about this in person. Sure, I guess. Uh, when and where? It's just that I've never really done this sort of thing before. Me neither. What? No, uh, nothing. Where again? How about your office? My office? Um, I don't really have an office. I work, I work out of my house. Look, it, it's a problem. Uh, no, no, it's no problem, really. No, no problem. Okay, then. What's the address? Uh, 4201 Dexter. Do you know where that's at? Oh, sure. About 30 minutes? Tonight? 30 minutes. Um, you want to make it 45? Great! It's a date. See you then! Sure. Who's there? Amanda Whitaker, Mr. Gibbons. Um, it's, uh, it's Jack. Remember? Not quite what you were expecting. Huh, no, Jack? Disappointed. No, not at all. It's okay, I actually get it all the time. I just don't look like I sound. Well... Besides, you're not quite what I pictured either. Should we get down to business? Suppose we should. So, uh... So, what did you expect? Maybe later? May I begin? Please. Something to drink. A glass of water. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Three years ago today, my Uncle Bill and Aunt Edith died. I would like you to write a story about them and what happened. What happened? Yes. No, I mean, uh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> that part may take a teensy bit of investigation. Investigation? Yes. See, I live in their house and... So... You want me to write about them. You want me, uh, basically, basically you want me to write a biography of their lives. I can do that. A biography. Well, not so much what they did before. More like what they do now. I know, I know. It, it sounds weird, but just hear me out. What they do... No. Yes, as I was saying, I live in their house and they've been telling me there's something fishy about the way they died. Something fishy? Yes. 
Must you keep repeating everything I say? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just a, a little slow. A little behind where you are. Crazy Hannah. You think? They think that my cousin Bill Jr., his wife Dora, poisoned them. Oh, they do, do they? I know this sounds nuts. My Aunt Edith said you wouldn't believe me. She did, did she? Yes, she did. And that's why they insisted on coming along. Okay, and there it is. That's, I've had about enough of that. Um, so you're telling me that you want me to write about them. Um, that you want me to, uh, investigate their death. All of this because they called you from beyond the- Jack! And then you tell me that you, she has already told you that I'm not going to believe what you're telling me. So where's the joke? You know, are, are, are they here right now? Are they going to materialize around? They're behind me. They're behind me. I'm going to turn around and they're going to be there. Miss Whitaker, how gullible do you think I am? That's kind of what I said the first time I saw them, too. Anyway, Jack, meet my aunt and uncle. Huh. Mr. Gibbons. Mr. Yeah, yeah, plenty of time for that later. Listen. We've been putting this, proving the poisoning thing off long enough. Yes, Mr. Gibbons, it's what we have to do in order to get justice. Which will allow us to rest, finally. That witch daughter-in-law, she did this to us. We have got to see that she is held accountable. That's why we came to you, Jack. We need you to document what happened three years ago. Well, you know, it's just word of mouth. It doesn't really matter whose mouth it's coming out of. Uh, it's still the, still just a different version of, uh, of the same story. We're going to show you, not just tell you. Well, now how the hell are you going to do that? Jack, somehow they are able to travel to the past. We don't know how it works, but it does. We can actually watch how Dory did it. So, what are we leaving? No time like the present, dear. We all have to hold hands. Sure. Why not?